So we have two different ways, at least two different ways to make these footing lines uh, go dashed. Okay, and we can also talk about materials and cross hatching and stuff. If you don't want to see that, we'll do uh, we'll wrap up all the stuff on materials and hatching um, later on in this series. So for now, we want to make these lines, outer lines, dashed. So the first way we can do it is by controlling it globally with a setting for line styles for the line style beyond. So what happens is with our view range okay when when lines show up back to my view range here when lines show up in here okay view depth which is why these are showing they take on the line style beyond okay so having said that hit okay so these lines are showing up and they are considered lines beyond that's the key because they're beyond the view range in the lower part. So now what we can do is if you go to manage and you go to additional settings here and you go down to line styles okay there is a line style called beyond okay and that's what these lines are there for. So we can go in and we can say well let's change the pen weight let's make it a fatter pen and make it you know a number two or a number three we can leave them black but you can go in and change the color inside of here and we can go in here and say, okay, well, I want them to be, you know, dashed, you know, eighth of an inch dashes. Hit apply and look what happens. Boom. Okay. So what's happening is this line style beyond is reserved for lines that show up in that view range, view depth. Lines that are showing up because of this take on the line style beyond. The only thing is it doesn't care if it's a footing or not any line that's in this uh, project in any plan view that is captured with that view range view depth is going to take on this line style so I don't really like that because it doesn't differentiate the footing from any other line that happens to be beyond so this particular method does solve the problem but the problem is if I go to a, say a second floor and there's a line down here that's being captured as a beyond line I may not want it to be dashed I may want it to be something else so I'd have to override it which I could but the fact is I would rather leave my beyond thin and dark lines and then use and, and do this differently okay so watch what I'm going to do I'm just going to do an undo undo that's it what I've done inevitably by doing that undo is I've gone into my line styles and I've reversed that beyond it's back to its normal state okay so I'm gonna leave this alone but technically that would solve our problem next I'm gonna do a different solution is I'm gonna create a new line type and I'm going to apply that in Revit you can go to any view even a 3d view and under modify there's something here called line work and what you can do is override the line style of, an, of any edge or line. So watch, if I go in here and pick this, I can now go in here and there's those same line styles that I was looking at before. I can say hidden lines, okay, and I can turn these into hidden lines. Now why my hidden lines are green and that, I'm not sure, that must be just the default, okay. There's two different actual types of hidden lines too, by the way. So you can go in and do something like that. Now, what, there's another one in here. Here we go, hidden, which is in, this is a system line type. We're going to go in there and use that instead. Those are black. So there's the ones with the brackets have the, are more of a system line style. Okay, so I can go in and paint those just like that. Escape, escape. So that is taking on the line type hidden. Oops, and I could also do this, right? Hidden. Boom. And then just pick. Do I have to do any more edges? Okay, we can make these so they get um, uh, mitered at the corners too, so I don't have to go in and do this extra little bit. Okay. So that more or less solves that problem. Escape, escape. And then if I go into my line styles in here, okay, they're taking on this. So if I globally go in here and change this to be a 2 and just for example make it red and hit OK and apply and OK, they'll take on that information. 
So that that works. I can use hidden line style, but I, I don't even want to do that. I'm going to go one even one level more detail. So I'm back into my line styles. I wouldn't want this to be red anyway, so I'm going to click on there and uh, just say uh, pick my black again and hit OK and leave it as a number one. So hit apply, reverse that back so it's hidden using hidden 1.8. So that's the line style. Okay, and I used my line work tool to apply that line style to these lines. But but again, that will look like every other hidden line. Okay, so I still not quite what I want. I want the footing lines to look different. So I'm going to create a new line style. I'm going to go into manage. I'm going to go back in here, back in line styles, and I'm going to say I'm going to create a new subcategory here and it's going to be called footing lines subcategory of the main category lines good so now I have a new line style called footing lines I'm going to make it a pen to make it a little thicker black is good and I'm gonna go in and make it let's see what I have here hidden 1 16th hit apply hit OK now what I'm going to do is go back and say modify use my line work tool to override and now I'm gonna go pick my footing lines I just created and pick on here so all I'm doing is working my way around again and I'm overriding the default line type so there's still considered lines beyond but I'm overriding that line style in this view with my line work tool and making them footing lines okay so you can take that same methodology and use it for anything you can create a new line style basically go into manage go into here line styles these are the default ones these are the system ones with the brackets you can make a new line style put a pen weight put a color put a, a line pattern okay once you have that line style then you can go into any view and you can even go into a 3d view and you can go to modify pick your line work tool pick a footing line and you can actually go in and do that in 2d or 3d okay so that's and that is um, per view okay it's only specific to the view you're in doesn't apply to other views okay to reverse that you go in here and you set it to be by category by category means go back to the way it is supposed to be without an override so by category basically removes the override we could do the same thing in here line style by category will turn it back and back to footing lines click on there escape escape so in summary we used our view range to capture the lines for the footing then we um, tried using the beyond line style which solved our problem and then decided to use a line work override instead and had to create a new footing line style so there's some techniques on getting your footings to look the way you want and basically using this line work tool you can do it in any view you can go to an elevational view and click on here and you can also say invisible lines invisible lines makes it go away If you do invisible you just don't see it there's two of them there so I had to click it twice you see that so you can make invisible lines undo 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 there we go so a little bit of lesson uh, on invisible lines, line work, line styles, and the view range.